Hi guys and welcome to Student Database Management System developed in C++ using MySQL database. Okay guys, let me show you how this works. Right here, those are the details of uh, Daniel S.A. Roman. And um, if I go to Student Database right there, so you can see the details of Daniel is not right in there. So let's go back to the university student or university system now all we need to do to get the details of Daniel on board is just to click on add but let me show you guys one thing this is the database as well inside the database Daniel details is not there so I'm now going to just click on add there we go and the system is telling me it's successfully updated click on OK let's go into the spreadsheet here or data review as you can see Daniel's details is on board there that is it right there Daniel is a woman so if we scroll right down there we go those are all the information of Daniel so I'm going to go back to the university uh, system and let's click on reset to add more data so I'm going to click on that there we go so we're going to add more data I'm going to speed that up and get back to you guys and right there those are Charlie's details what I just need to add is guidance details let's say his uncle and the uncle they live in the same address okay that's fine the name of the uncle is Townsend as well let's just say it's James Townsend there telephone number of uncle Townsend so let's just enter all seven in there change one or two things around email number James Arts Gmail there we go right and that is the course that Charlie is taught him we can always change that course to whatever maybe computer system or information system and right there Charlie happens to be a home student he's not an overseas student we can change all of that accommodation no he's living at home and he's not an exchange student or is, is he on scholarship is in let's say third year and right here those are the grades of Charlie but let me show you guys one thing I'm going to select 15 as the date and if I click on result there we go that changed to 15 however supposing I have something like 617 then look at what is going to happen see it default back to zero saying is more than 100 okay so let's enter a proper value in there however if I dare move out of this cell now you see what happened and let's say it's empty the mouse leaves mouse enter then we can enter some value in there okay so let's just increase the grade that it's got and there click on results there we go is now a second class upper student now if we come in here student database click on that as you can see Charles details is now there all right so let's come right in here and what about the workbench itself inside the work or on the workbench Charlie's details is not there neither as you guys can see so I'm going to minimize that and let's come in here click on add there we go successfully added click on ok let's go straight into student database Charlie's details is now right there on the system now let's go back to the university system right in here in the database itself Charlie's details is not there so all we then need to do is just click on refresh even Daniel's details is not there as well so let's click on refresh you see Daniel's details and Charlie's details there Charlie and that is Daniel the one that I showed you guys earlier okay and that is how it works just for your information guys this is just an overview and I'll see you guys with a full tutorial shortly.